Okay, guys, I felt energetic, and I decided to go after the outside port on the old head. Now, it looks like I could have hit it with a little more dicum to show the direction around. But, like I said, I try to uh, make the dicum the same every time. I will say a few things about this. The owner said I could take out some material around the push rod. And in doing that, it allowed me to equalize the speeds across the short side radius a lot better. Quite good, actually, for only one cut. Now, remember, last time you guys saw this, I filled like 21 cc's of this port up with clay and made it work better. Well, this is minus the 21 cc's of clay and minus a few more cc's to straighten out that push rod wall. Notice how deep a cut that was. Well, guess what? It really needed that because now that wall is much straighter and more efficient than it was. Still the exact same size opening. That hasn't changed. But instead of it necking down right after the opening and making a hard left, that turn has been minimized. Okay, we still have the hole in the floor that needs to get filled. I'm not worried about that. There's just a bit of body filler at the very end. I'm not worrying about that right now. The rest of the port basically has no filler in it at this point. And the owner may say, oh no, that filler was great. It gave me so many CFM. This works better. Actually, I'm surprised how well it works better. You have to remember a couple things. One, it's a massive valve. It's a 2.25 valve. It's for a huge engine, 500 cubes. The port is horrendously bent. Okay? And in order to get the air moving around, it's going to need a decent sized port. I like the idea of filling it and making it more efficient, but the short side speeds were ridiculous. It wouldn't have ran well. Now, he put that through his program, and it made good power. I don't remember what it was, but it was way more than I would expect uh, 500 cubic inch holes to make. I'm pretty sure this will do better. Let's take some more looks at it. The valve looks like it has a little bit less contact than what we had last time. But... You know what, if we look down this way, I'm missing a light, sorry guys. It's charging at the moment. You can definitely see we got more on the left of that guy than we've had to date, right? And it's definitely wider. I'm gonna say we have a win as far as liquid. Let's take a look at what we look like on the bore. Okay, to me, that looks pretty darn good. Okay, the short side got a lot of work because that's where the air wants to go. Well, guess what? Like DV says, don't make the air go the way you think it needs to go. Make it go the way it wants to go. Well, how do you do that? You do that by air speeds, right? You figure out where it wants to go and you change it at that point. So, the whole apex of that got changed slightly. The layback got changed. And I gave it some more area on both sides. Okay. We can focus on our push rod. You can see you can see how much that's been moved over. That's been moved over probably an eighth of an inch, maybe more, to fix that wall. Okay, my lighting is giving me a real problem, but you can see we got a little dicum right on the floor of that short side coming up. You can see uh, this was the wall that was filled, right? It, there's no fill anymore, and actually I gave it a bunch more area because it has a, an easier transition from one direction to the other direction than it had. 
Okay, it seemed to like that. You can see your bowl pretty clearly at this point. That looks all good to me. The corner on the left by the short side is relatively thin, where we can't get any more area out of that at this point. The uh, the owner of these heads is going to put a little needs to put more meat in that area when he redoes the core boxes. And the top of the short side radius to get a polish because a lot of air wants to go around that. So that's what you do. Okay guys, sorry it's it's quite a bit messy. Let me take a look at this. Okay. This was the filled port. Okay, the uh, owner of the head was pretty happy with this, the way this was. This is a bigger port, okay? So, as long as everybody understands that, we added 21 cc's and some grinding. So, let's just say we added 25 cc's. He knows what the port was originally. He can put that into his program, and then he can use these numbers, right? 41.3, 82.2, 118.1, 153.5, 153.5. Two twenty point two, two fifty point four, two eighty point four, three twenty seven point one, three fifty nine point seven, three seventy five. I had problems with this because the clay and stuff was giving me a trouble. Three seventy five, three eighty nine, and then we go down here. Four hundred point nine, four hundred and six point four. That's one inch lift, right? He says he wants to do. 750, so I did 750 is 381 and 38 uh, swirl. Okay, 381 CFM at 750 lift for a street engine. Okay, now we can go through the pluses and minuses. This is a minus, plus, uh, minus, minus, plus, 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 plus the rest of the curve. I'll take it as a win even though it's a bigger port. Oh, but Charlie, you need velocity. Yeah, you do need velocity, but you need velocity distributed evenly through the port. Localized velocity is not going to help. Okay, if we looked at these numbers here, right? The bottom of the port here was fast. These were pretty good. I wasn't really mad about those at all. But look at how much different it is from the roof to the floor. The short side was stupid fast. Can't have it. You've, that's going to cause that's going to cause a problem on a 500 inch motor that you rev up because that 436 at 28 inches is going to be a lot faster at whatever a 500 inch engine pulls probably 120 inches or better. Okay, somebody smart could probably calculate that up for me. And then uh, it, we've, I'm pretty sure we've exceeded the speed of sound at that point, so it will choke. Okay, I don't get into that a whole lot because I'm too stupid to teach it. But I'm sure there are other guys that could teach it. Now, plus I don't know it that well. If I knew it better, maybe I would think about teaching it, but I don't. Okay, so this has got more flow, but it's a bigger port. Let's take a look at the air speeds and see if we did better than these air speeds, okay? Here's our pinch. This is our new pinch. Notice anything? I know it surprised me. That's amazingly good. Why is it so good, Charlie? Take a look from top to bottom. How even is that? 232, 241. A little extra speed in the middle. It's beautiful. That extra speed in the middle it brought that dykem right to that short side. I love it. I think it's fabulous. This 400 here is going to be a problem. You're trying to get too much air on the low port of that pinch. It's not going to work well. Okay, how about our roof speeds? Well, we went from 180 to 161. Not thrilled about losing airspeed there, but it is also a bigger port now. So we're going to go with it. 
The cylinder wall roof was 170, it dropped even more, it's 143. Not thrilled about it. These were 10 off, these are almost 20 off, okay? The roof is not a complete win. But you also remember, this is the first, first cut with this combination, so I will be able to do something with this if the owner thinks I should waste more time on it. The big win is our pinch. Our pinch. Our short side, guys. This is what we were. 416, 436, 437. Fast, stupid fast, ridiculous fast. Now look at it. I did a pretty deep a pretty good job getting the the air speeds even across the short side, considering I guessed and I took area out of where I thought I needed to. 354, 354. That's tough to beat. 402 is a little higher than I'd like, but guess what? It's a super bent port. It's going to be high. All right, guys, you can let me know whether you think this is a win. I should throw the head in the garbage. Uh, you let me know because... Oh, you know what I didn't include? I started this flow at 89 degrees in the garage. Stupid hot in here. The bench was very, very unhappy the whole time. That makes a difference on how it flows. That was one of the reasons I was having problems here. right? Because the air friction was literally melting the clay. Because the air is going around the clay and the head was hot. So, it was a pain. In any case, I'm going to take it as a win. It's basically a completely redesigned port from what I started with. And as far as I can tell, it's much happier and would make better power over a wider, wider band. If you don't agree, put that in the comments. Straighten me out, because my head is getting swollen. Can't have that. Wifey will knock me right back down. Don't worry. All right, guys. Let me know what you want to see next. Have a good night.